traders versus reality. Most of us by now are well aware that such comparisons are futile. Yet, to be completely fair, Microsoft Flight Simulator is easily one of the best looking games ever made. One of the few that, for the most part, match the hype. With that said, where is all this beautiful water? This beautiful footage is from the South America Microsoft Flight Simulator trailer. We're flying over Nassau here in the Bahamas, and as you can see, it's got beautiful tropical water. In game though, the story is very, very different. So I captured this footage this morning. Uh, the settings are on Ultra, I'm at uh, 1440p. Again, let's jump over and have a look at that same region in the trailer and do a bit of a direct comparison. So the distinct difference here is what's going on with the water. This is what's known as coral water or cold reef water. The water is very, very shallow as it approaches the island. And because the Bahamas, well, the water is so clear, it allows us to see straight down beneath it. Now, whilst these areas are continuously shown in the flight simulator traders, the truth is, in the game, there's not that many areas that are actually like this, at least not from what I've been able to see. Now, this isn't a data issue. This is big maps. This is a specific island in the Bahamas. You can see there's coral water there and coral reefs. And this is the same location in the game. So it's certainly not down to satellite imagery. What it is down to, Microsoft have spoken about this before, to be more specific, Asobo Studio has spoken about this before, is that these areas need to be manually edited. The team need to go in and apply a graphical mask to the water in these specific regions where the water is shallow enough. And they need to do this and go around the hundreds of islands around the world and do it one by one. A case in point where it is actually like this in the game is the Caicos Islands. Now, earlier today, I was browsing through the Microsoft Flight Simulator forums and come across a thread where they were actually comparing uh, screenshots from the actual game to screenshots from the trailer, and that inspired me to produce this video. And that said, I want to be perfectly clear here that this isn't a complaint video. I just wanted to take a bit of a deeper look at exactly what is going on. Now, as we move back to the Caicos Islands, this is South Caicos. You can see the airport right there. I've left the marker on in case you actually want to visit this yourself. Now you can see the lovely looking water here, however it doesn't quite match, at least not yet, the quality of the water in the trailers. And I've noticed there's a very specific reason for that, and that is due to the size of the waves. You may have noticed that I put the wind speed up to 50 knots here or thereabouts, and we've got a reasonable amount of waves, it's not too bad. But you probably would have noticed in some of the screenshots around the internet that locations like this often have white caps on the ocean. And the only way to get that in the Bahamas is to put the wind speed around about 100 to 150 knots. And no, it's very unlikely you're going to be flying around in that. But as you can see, it does make the area look very, very nice indeed. Now, there's two very real issues when it comes to wind speed. Firstly, in winds of 100 to 150 knots, you're not going to be flying, at least not particularly easily. Secondly, wind speed in the Bahamas doesn't seem to affect the surface of waters entirely realistically. Now, I do live on the coast myself. I visit the beach very, very regularly, and I've seen the tide and the seas in many different wind speeds. This, I can tell you, is not what the water looks like at 90 knots. Then again, I live in the UK, I don't live in the Bahamas, so maybe at 150 knots this is what the water looks like in the Bahamas. But that said, it's certainly not how the waters would look like with this type of wind speed over here in the UK. Now, as we'll see further into the video, you can reduce the wind speed down quite a bit. You can get down to around about 15 knots to 20 knots and get some reasonable water effects. But the really good ones, the types that appear to be used in the trailers, do seem to be with very, very high wind speeds. Now, just for comparison's sakes, this is the UK, this is Folkestone, and I'm going to do some wind speed tests here. We're right down on the coast, of course, the graphics are not always that good on these types of locations, but this is purely a test for wind speed. And we're right up to nearly 90 knots here, and just look how truly massive these waves are. Terrifying. Of course, in the game, we don't expect to see breakers on the shore. That's not the way games tend to work but that is just for comparison's sakes to give you the idea. Now, as a final note to this video, obviously the trailer is very different to the game, and I assume that is because Microsoft are using a newer build than what's publicly available, and therefore all those beautiful locations they showed off will be available for us in the future. At least that's my assumption. 
In terms of what's available right now, it's true, there's not a whole lot of these. I spent a good chunk of time this morning hopping from island to island around the, both the Bahamas as well as the Caribbean and found very few areas with cold water. A few of them you can see on the screen just a moment ago, but what I try and do is list a few in the video description just so it's easier for you to go and head to the ones that actually are there, or the ones that I've found, in case you want to see them for yourselves. In addition to that though, how about we build a list of these wonderful locations? Now if you've ever visited an area in the game, either in the Bahamas or the Caribbean or indeed anywhere else around the world where there's these beautiful water effects, then why not let me know in the comments section below. We can then take all of those different locations and combine them together into one list, which I'll then pin in a top comment. I really feel this would be very useful for many of us. So thank you to anyone who's willing to go ahead and do that. That then brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys girls next time.